that when we come in the house of God, this is only the praise that we, there is the fullness of joy. Uko nje utakutana na watu wengine ambao hataki hata kusikia ukimwambia kitu yeyote. Lakini tunapokuja katika nyumba ya Bwana, at least hapa tunaweza kuwa na ruka moja. Amen. Kwa hivyo acha kukaa kama tafadhali umenyeshewa. Eh? Uwa na furaha ya Bwana. Have the joy of the Lord. Amen. Na isakete. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Do you believe that? Tunaamini hivyo. Tunaamini hii ndio siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya. Amen. Kwa hakika hii ndio siku kwa maana katika maumbile ya Mungu hii ndio siku. Siku ya kesho au juu hili itakuwa. Siku ya leo ndio siku ambayo Bwana ametupea. Amen. Uh, Nashukuru Bwana kwa siku ya leo. Na naamini ya kwamba tuko hapa ili tukaweza kusikiza kile Bwana ameandaa juu yetu. Mwaka huu ni mwaka wa ridiki and reprocessing. Tunaiwekanga hapa ili tusije tukasahau kwa sababu unaweza aenda usahau. Kwa hivyo inakuanga kila wakati iko hapa. Ndio usiwe uka, ukawa na, uh, na excuse ya kusema sijui mnasemanga ni nini. Iko hapa. Inaitwa mwaka wa ibigi na reprocessing. And actually it's vile tulikuwa tumeambiwa ni ibigi the wells of our forefathers. Amen. Ibigi the wells of our forefathers or our fathers wale ambao wametutangulia katika mambo ya Kikristo mambo ya wokovu mambo kuhusu kanisa hao wameenda pere yetu kwa hivyo tuna we are redigging e, when we talk of the redigging let me just give an example and today I want to take part of my life. Kama ushuhuda. Amen. Nataka kuchukua nafasi ya yangu mimi mwenyewe. Nipiane ushuhuda wangu mimi mwenyewe. Kama ushuhuda wangu wa kile Bwana amefanya ndani ya maisha yangu tangu nilipomjua. Amen. The other day I and my family mtuka jani tu suswa si mnajua suswa the place inasemekana nini the place no okay mimi nilifika mahali hata kama inasemekana it's nowhere kuna mahali unafika na hapa tulienda kunaitwa suswa so tulipofika tulipandia kwa hii station kuna station tatu kuna station ya uh, Ongatanongai kuna station ya Go na kuna station ya Maimayo so katika station ya Ongatanongai tulipofika mahali pale tulipata watu kadhaa wakiwa wanaongojea hiyo train kuje na tulipokaa pale tukaanza kuongea na train ipo kuja tukaingia wale ambao walikuwa ni watu ambao tuwajui kufika ndani kuna ile unaanza kuongea na watu mnaanza kujuana <laughs> unasikia watu wameanza watoto huko wanaanza kukimbia kutoka kona hii mpaka kona ile ingine tulipofika ngome the same watu wengine wakapanda tulipofika maimayo watu wengine wakapanda na hapo maimayo kuna wengine walikuwa wanashuka. Kwa hivyo kuna wale walikuwa wanapanda na kuna wale walikuwa na wanashuka. Tulipo mpaka wakati sasa tulifika Suswa. Na tulipofika pale Suswa sisi sote tulifika mwisho wa leli. Na ilibidi sisi sote tutoke. Na tuka tukajienjoy vile tulijienjoy huko. Na 
Now, I want you to take this. Eh? As you are seated here, you are in, in a certain train. Uko katika train ya maisha. You are in the train of what? Life. And as we continue in the journey, there are people who will board. How did you board the, the train? You boarded the train of life wakati ulipo saliwa. Ulipo kuja katika uri mwengu, uri ingia katika train ya maisha. Na unapo edrea na hile safari, kuna watu wengine ambao wataingia. Marafiki wataingia. Watoto wataingia. Tutahenda tukiwa, wa, kuna watu ambao watakuwa wanaingia katika maisha yetu. Tutaendelea kujua kukua na watu wengine ambao hatukuwa tunawajua. Tutakuwa na marafiki ambao hatukuwa na urafiki na wao. Na katika hii safari itafika mahali ambapo kuna wale wengine wataanza kutoka. Kila mtu ataanza kutoka. Kila mtu ataanza kutoka. The only mystery in this is that no one knows the station ambao atatokea. Hakuna yeyote kati yetu anajua station yake. Hiyo ndio kitu tu cha kuchangaza. Wewe unatembea katika hii train lakini siku yako ya kutoka hakuna yeyote ambaye huanato anajua. Unaondoka tu na saa ingine kuondoka kwako kunabakisha pengo kubwa ambayo saa ingine kuijaza inakuwa ngumu. Na in this train utakuta kuna mambo tofauti tofauti. There is joy ya risoro kuna mchanganyiko wa mambo ya ya, ya, ya kiulimwengu so it's you to know how you are going to live with others when you are in that train atukushagua yule ambaye utaketi na yeye kwa sababu kuna ile namba ambayo umepewa na ukiwa umepewa na yule ambaye ungetaka kukaa na yeye utaketi na yeye kwa sababu hapo ndio kiti yako iko and how you relate with that person determines the journey that you are going to walk together. Amen? So, in this journey of life, tunasairi kujua how to relate to one another. Amen? How to, to relate with one another. Kwa sababu, it counts. It counts a lot how you relate with that person that you are sitting with. Tunapo, tunakuja nga hapa, asu, kila asubuhi tunakuja on Sundays. We normally have this, we remind ourselves about the coming of Jesus. Tunasemanga, Jesus is coming soon. Alafu tunajibu? Are you ready? I know sometimes it may just sound like a creed. Hili ambayo, unajuanga wale watu wa rosari, wale wanatumianga rosari, mimi sitaki kutisama ni ya kina nani. Lakini, si unajua wile wanaua na oba. Inakuanga, kuna every bidi ni kuna wadi yake, kuna kitu ambacho wanasema napo ishika, sidiyo? So, ni kitu ambayo, akiwa amerala, hatu kimuamushe sangabi, anajua tu hiyo, amekiramu kwa kishu yake. Lakini, what impact does it make in the lives of that person? When we say that Jesus is coming soon and we say, are you ready? Surely, do you look at yourself and ask yourself for sure? Kini ambacho naenda kusema ni ya ukweli ama si ukweli. Amen? Kini ambacho utaenda kusema unapo sema ya kwamba are you ready? Na unajulisa yo swari. Unakuanga, unatafakari hao manenu ambayo utaenda kuyasema. Amen. Okay, now, the topic of our, our topic today is the good way. Just that. The good way. The good way. Jia, ilio what? Ilio sawa. Jia, ambayo ni uh, kiswahili na kuanga ngumu sangine lakini tutakielewa tunapoendelea sindio nataka nishanganya kwa sababu kuna watu ambao 
wanaweza kuwa bando uh, ama wanaweza kuelewa kitu kiongea Kiingereza Kiingereza tuseme ilikuja na watu wa Mary kwa hivyo tungetaka ku, ku, uh, kuongezea Kiswahili ambao wengi wetu tunakifahamu uh, as you have said kama vile tumesema ni kwamba huu mwaka ni mwaka wa redigging and repossessing na tunapoongea juu ya redig ni kumaanisha ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimefanyika na sio tunaanza mwanzo tena. Atuanzi mwanzo bali tu, kuna kuna mtu ambaye alikuja akafanya kile ambacho unafanya redig kuna yule ambaye alikuja akafanya hiyo kazi kwanza. Amen. So we are not starting from this from this cash. Atuanzi mwanzo. Atuanzi kush, kuchimba visima mwanzo. Because we are redig mimi ilikuwa imeshimbwa na labda ikaingia mchanga kwa hivyo tunataka kutoa ule mchanga tunataka kutoa kile uchafu ule uko mahali pale ili yale maji yako mahali pale tukawese tukawese kuyapata na ku, na kukunywa hayo maji so in other words redig it's like restoration restored being restored or rebirth put tunasema ya kwamba it's like restoring or it's a rebirth a rebirth of something kwa hivyo sio kitu ambacho tunaanza kitu mpya bali ni kitu ambacho kilikuwa kiko pale lakini kuna njia ambayo tumeiacha na tunataka kuirudia tena amen kuna kitu ambacho tumekiacha na tunataka kukirudia na nilisema ya kwamba let me just give an example of students. Student wale wako hapa. Sasa wengine unakutanga mwanafunzi alikwenda akaingia darasa na akaweza kufunzwa na lecturer. Na alipofunzwa kuna ile kile ambacho wanafunzi wengi wanakwanga naye. Ah, nitarudi nitaenda kusoma baadaye. Nitaenda kusoma baadaye. Unakuta masomo imekuja mengi imepile. Sasa wakati wa kuanza kurudia inakuwa ni ngumu kwa sababu mtihani uko hapa na hajui ni gani ataanza naye. So they suffer from a, a kind of a panic lash ya kutaka ukimbia kwa hii na hata ukimbia kwa hii okay ile inakuja rasa sasa hilo e, lecturer anakuja ile mtihani anakuja ni hii anakimbia kwa hii lakini unakuta hakuwa na nafasi ya kurundi kwa yale masomo tena na kujifahamisha yale ambayo ame, alikuwa amefunzwa kwa sababu kama angekuwa ameshukua nafasi hiyo ya kurundi katika yale masomo na kuanza kujifahamisha ingeweza kusink ingeweza angeweza kuipata saidi lakini kwa sababu hakufanya hivyo inakuwa ni ngumu wakati sasa ambapo mtihani uko hapa mbele yake na hajui kile atafanya so unakuta kuna ile panic na mara nyingi unasikia anga wakiambiwa do not panic lakini huwa ana panic kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho wanajua vile walifanya kama huko soma au kusoma si ndio kama huko soma au kusoma hakuna kitu kingine si ndio mwalimu Eh mwalimu amesema ndio. Kama ukusoma, haukufanya nini? Haukusoma. Na hiyo ndio ukweli wa mambo. Now, I said I'm going to give an amina uh, a, 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 uh, a testimony about myself. And this my testimony ama ushinda wangu una lenga kile ambacho tunachosema redigging and repossessing katika maisha yangu ya Ukristo nilipokoka ah uh, sio sema ya kwamba niliokoka na nikaketi na nikakaa katika wokovu amen haleluya haleluya unajua kuna watu wengi ambao labda wao wali, kutoka wakati waliokoka hawajawahi kusema ya kwamba ama hajawahi kujipata katika dunia mambo ya ulimwengu tena. Mimi ninaposimama hapa nasema ya kwamba niliokoka na nikaanguka na nikaokoka tena. Amen. Kwa sababu najua katika hii safari watu wengi tumeweza kaa tukisema tunaweza nataka kuonyesha ya kwamba tuko watakatifu kabisa. Hakuna kile ambacho tumekipitia katika hii maisha. Lakini kwa ukweli ni kwamba kuna mambo ambayo huwa inatukumba ina katika maisha ambayo saingine hauwezi kuyaepuka na unapata inakufanya unaingia katika mitego ingine ambayo haifai amen 
I remember in, back in 1996, that's the time when I gave my life to Christ. And I, I was in Mombasa. And after giving my life to Christ, tulikuwa na vijana ambao tulikuwa tunakaa pamoja. Ah uh, najua ya kwamba ukiwa kijana unapotoka mahali nyumbani na unaenda mahali pengine kuna vile huwa mnashikana kama vijana wa labda mnakodisha nyumba mnaanza kukaa mahali moja kwa sababu ya kupunguza gharama ya maisha si ndio kwa hivyo hata mimi nilipokuwa pale 1996 Nilienda na Mombasa in 1993. Nipo maliza shule. Nipo ndio niliingia ah uh, huko Mombasa. Na nilienda pale si ati nilienda kwa kukaa na ndugu yangu, si kwenda pale kukaa na dandangu ama babangu. Niliingia mahali pale kutafuta vibarua. Niliambiwa toka tu kuna mtu ambaye ako pale ni, ni mtu wa familia utaenda mkutane na yeye na ataweza kusaidia kutafuta barua so nilipoingia Mombasa pale kwa hakika ule mtu ambaye nilikuwa nimetumwa kwake hata sijawahi kumuona na njisho na unfortunately alikufa hata kabla sijamuona kwa sababu nilifika mahali pale na akawa yeye alikuwa ni askari kwa hivyo nilipofika mahali pale alikuwa kazi akatuma mtu mwingine akuja nishukue station ndio anipeleke nyumbani na nilipoenda kukaa na huyo yule ambaye alichukua huyo ndiyo nilikaa na yeye. Na nikakaa na yeye kwa muda fulani hapo ndiyo nilikuja kutoka nikaenda kujitafutia kibarua. Na nilipopata kibarua tukaanza sasa kwa wale ambao tulikuwa tunakaa pamoja katika ile ile kazi tukagundana pamoja na tukakaa tukatafuta mahali ya kukaa. Na kati ya hao mmoja wao alikuwa ameokoka na akawa kila wakati anatuhubiria na anatuambia juu ya upendo wa Kristo lakini kwa sababu ya ile hali ya maisha na vile tulikuwa tunakaa ilikuwa ni ngumu sana kwa sababu kuna zile vitu tulikuwa tunatumia wakati ule na kuna yale mambo ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya ambayo aenge ni ruhusu kwa sababu nilikuwa najiuliza mimi hata nikiokoka eh nitaenda wapi ni nani atanisaidia hao ni ndio marafiki niko na wao. Hao ndio watanisaidia. Na kwa hakika tulikuwa tunasaidiana. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni ngumu sana kwangu ku eh kusema ya kwamba nitapeana maisha yangu wa Kristo. Lakini yule jamaa hakuchoka. Kila wakati tulikuwa tukienda kama vile pasa alikuwa anahubiri ya kwamba mahali alikuwa anafanya kazi. Alikuwa wanaomba. Huyu jamaa pia alikuwa anafanya hivyo na alikuwa ana tuhubiria kwa hiyo ikawa ni kitu ambacho kila wakati alikuwa anatukumbusha na siku moja akaniambia simkuje sandi twende kanisani na chingo upande siku ya sandi tukatoka tukaenda kanisani kanisani ilikuwa pale Baxter JCC ya Pastor Lai na tulipofika mahali pale nikuta umati wa watu kulikuwa kumejaa na baada ya mchungaji kuhubiri i don't know what happened sijui kile kilifanyika lakini kile tunajua ni kwamba wakati alipolipoulizwa yule angetaka kupeana maisha yake kwa Kristo mimi nilikuwa mmoja wao in that year to, eh, 1996 na safari yangu ya wokovu ilianza mahali pale. Na nilipoendelea kujua mambo ya Mungu, kuna vitu ambazo tukiwa vijana pale kuna wale wengi pia waliweza kuokoka katika ile group ambayo tulikuwa nao. Kwa hivyo tulishikana ilikuwa ni group ambayo tuliweza kushikana ya vijana ambao sasa walikuwa wanatamani kumjua Mungu. Kuna kitu kuna kama kwa kama moto ulikuwa ndani yetu ilikuwa tulikuwa tunakaa mahali kunaitwa mikindani mikindani kutoka mikindani mpaka Baxter mahali ambapo kanisa ilikuwa ni kilomita kama 8 to 10 in between 8 to 10 so tukiwa vijana hivyo mara nyingi hatukuwa na pesa ya pesa 
kuchukua gari na hapo Baxter kulikuwa na maombi ya asubuhi kila siku ambayo ilikuwa inaanza kuanzia 5 so tulikuwa tunashikana tukiwa hao vijana kutoka mikindani tunatembea all the way mpaka Baxter na remember maombi inaanza saa ngapi saa moja. kwa hivyo itatubidi tuamuke kama saa tisa tuanze safari yetu tuende mpaka wapi Baxter kwa maombi na tukimaliza tutatembea tena turudi ndio twende kasini so kulikuwa na hiyo uamsho ambao tulikuwa nao wa kutaka kujua Mungu kuingi kufanya mambo ya Mungu kuna hiyo tamanio ndani yetu ambayo ilikuwa mahali pale na kumbuka nikuja na hii Biblia my wife was asking alipoiona nimebeba alikuwa anashindwa ni ya nini nilikuwa nimebeba hii ya nilinunua wakati huo unaona ile inakaa hii ndio biblia yangu ya kwanza hii biblia nilikuwa naambia devi ni ni, ni, ni msee kuliko yeye na bado unaona iko ni msee kuliko devi na tulikuwa na tamanio kuna kile kilikuwa ndani yetu kuna kitu mambaso hata wakati tuipoanza huu mwaka na tukaambiwa alidiga and process na tukaanza kufundishwa juu ya yale mambo ambayo tungetaka ku, eh, kufufua that what came into my mind nikajiuliza wakati nipookoka kuna mambo ambayo nilikuwa nafanya kuna vitu ambavyo nilikuwa nafanya kuna vile nilikuwa naomba kuna vile nilikuwa naomba ama na, nasoma neno la Mungu kuna vile nilikuwa najihusisha na mambo ya Mungu lakini kuna mahali ilifika ikawa ya ule moto umeisha yale ile ile, ile ya mark nilikuwa naye yale mambo nilikuwa nafanya nikawa siwezi kuyafanya tena nakumbuka kuna wimbo mmoja ambao tulikuwa tunaupenda uh, those days we used to have is cassette isi sapweka kwa radio unafunika unafinya hakuna hakukuwa na cd hakukuwa na cd na hakukuwa na eh, flash hakukuwa na youtube hakukuwa na youtube so hiyo 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 tu ndio ulikuwa na unatumia inawekwa hizo hiyo eh, nyimbo alafu ukiweka unafinya unasikiza hiyo ndio tulikuwa naye so i remember the was this song by Ron Kenoli I used to love it so much it's so much. In the Ukraine sema You are the holy one you are the holy son your life is mysterious true we are complete we must be to true Your judgment is sure We desire your majesty That we might live by your decree Establish righteousness in us That we might live So any time I used to sing it I could sink deep deep into prayer into worship by the way when I was there in Baxton I joined the choir I joined the choir I was among the first choir ambayo ilikuwa mahali pale JCC ya Pastor Lai I was there and I remember one time Shetani Mumbai tulikuwa tuko na uniform and ile uniform unajua nyumba yetu vile tulikuwa tunakaa vijana siku moja shetani alipitia mahali pale akakuja akavunja nyumba akachukua yule ile uniform yangu sasa mimi nikabaki sina uniform ya kwaya nikarudi tena kwa pale kwa kwa washirika wa, 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 wale wenzetu ambao tulikuwa tuna tuna tunaimba pamoja nikamwambia vile kumefanyika walinishangia nikabasa kupata uniform mpya. Ini kwa hiyo kuna a fire that was 
within me. And I pray even as we listen to this, you may be asking yourself, unaweza kuwa wewe haujakaa hiyo miaka yote tunasema kutoka 1996. Hata kama ni jana ambapo uliokoka. Kuna kitu ambacho Bwana alipanda ndani ya moyo wako. Na kitu ambacho nataka siku ya leo tukaweze kujiuliza. Ule kile ambacho kikufanya ukaweze kusema ya kwamba umeokoka na umepeana maisha yako kwa Kristo. Na kwamba chochote kile ambacho kinahitajika wewe ukaweze kufanya utafanya. Lili, you do it. Now you know the devil is so cunning. The devil is so cunning. Kuna vitu ambazo atatumia ili asiweze atafanya ili usiweze kufanya hayo mambo yote. Amen. Kuna vitu ambazo shetani atatumia. I want to take this example of this uh, the, the prodigal son. Sometimes we look at the prodigal son in the negative side. Huwa tunaangalia the prodigal son. Mtoto aliyempotevu. Alikuwa mtoto mpotevu. Si ndio? Mwana mpotevu. Eh mwana. Mtoto ni mwana mpotevu. That's the right one. Mwana mpotevu. Mwana mpotevu mara nyingi huwa tunamwangalia kwa upande ambao ni, ni mbaya. Tunasema ya kwamba alienda akaambia babake nipatie mali yangu na alipopewa mali akatoroka nyumbani na alipotoroka nyumbani akaenda akakonda everything uh, uko nje. Lakini kuna kitu ambacho kilifanyika. Kwa wakati yule jamaa ilifika mahali alijirudia tena. Ilifika mahali he had to think about the life that he left behind. Na akajiuliza kwa hakika. Kwa babangu kuna wafanyikazi. Wanakula, wanakula. Hakuna kitu ambacho wanakosa. Mimi ni kwa hapa nakula pamoja na nguruwe. Akasema, I will go back. Sema I will go back. Awe I will go back. Na alipoamua tunaambiwa ya kwamba alirudi kwa babake. Na babake alipomuona kwa mbali alimkimbilia na akamkumbatia na akamrudisha tena katika familia yake. Amen. Kwa hivyo kuna kitu ambacho tunaweza kuwa tukiacha juma. Kuna mambo ambayo tuliacha. Tulikuwa tunafanya lakini hatufanyi siku ya leo. Na swali ni ni nini kinakufunga? Ni nini nakufanya usiweze kufanya kile ambacho unastahili kuwa unafanya siku ya leo? Tunaweza sema ya kwamba mfano huu ambao nimepeana wa the, 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 the mwana mpotevu ni kwamba tunaambiwa he was the youngest among the, kwa, kwa, we, among the two. Yeye ndiye alikuwa yule mdogo. Nini he may have anaweza kuwa hakuwa na experience. Ya kwamba wakati alipoitisha ile pesa hakujua hata vile ataenda kufanya naye. Na kile aliona cha kufanya ni kutoka na afanya nini? Naende. Na wewe inaweza kuwa ni mfano ambayo kwa yule ambaye labda unaweza kuwa umepeana maisha yako kwa Kristo lakini kwa muda mfupi kuna vitu ambavyo ukua unajua vile utafanya. Na kwa sababu au kuwa unajua ukajipata labda katika ile group ambayo mlikuwa naye imekurudisha tena katika mambo ya ulimwengu because you didn't have the experience na tunaambiwa ya kwamba he has for his inheritance ama share yake na the bible says you know when you go out there tunaambiwa outside are the dogs the sorcerers, sexual moral, madras, the idolaters, and everyone who loves to practice falsehood. That is what, what is outside there. When you go outside salvation, that's what you are going to find out there. Na tunambua ya kwamba, alipotoka kwa nyumba ya babake. This is what happened. Alienda, aka yile mari ya ba alikuwa mepewa, ikaishia huko na akajipata katika hali ya kutamani kurudi katika nyumba ya, ya, ya babake. Amen. Ah uh, we are going just to uh, briefly at three things. Three things 
that the enemy may use. Only three. Na nashukuru kwana kwa sababu what Pastor Joel has just shared with us. Iyo mari tumesomewa. Kitabu ambacho tumesomewa. Ya about conforming. Because we, that's exactly what we are going to look at. We are going to look at the three things that the enemy can use. Iri usuwese kurundia yale ambayo mungu wakataka ukawesa kuyafanya. In the book of Matthew, we read about the greatest commandment. Aba it's located in the book of Matthew. Iko katika kitabu shamadayo, ishiri na bi mulango ya mstari wa tradi na saba, Matthew 22:7. It says, Jesus replied, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. Love the Lord." You are God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. Now, how this is vile imewekwa, Yesu alikuwa ameuliso swali. Na hivi diyo aliludisha. Kwa sabo aliuliso wa, mitafanya niri ili mkawese kulitu ufaunu wa binguni. Na madhari anasema, hivi diyo Yesu alichibu. Alimuambia, Penda mungu wako kwa mwoyo, kwa mwoyo yako, na kwa mwoyo wako, na akiri yako. Yote. Amen? Hivi ndiyo Yesu alirudisha. Now, I've said we are going to look at three items. And these are the three items that we are going to look at. Your heart, your soul, and your mind. But I want us to just to change the sequence. We will start with our mind. Because this is how the information processing works. There are two, there are two main uh, physical uh, means of communication. There are two part of information. That is, we get it through our eyes and through hearing. Sindio? We can get information through kuona na macho, kiri ambacho tunuona, na kiri ambacho tunesikia. Those are the two main. Others are there. But those are the two main that we can be able to get information. Now when we get information, the receptors send the message to the brain. And after sending to the brain, the brain will connect with the, our heart. And that's why you find, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So, whatever has been stored in your heart, kiri ambacho kimeopa ndani ya mwoyo wako, diyo kiri ambacho uwa kinatoka. Na roho, lasima si wasriane na nafsi yako. Na nafsi kwa wale ambao wa jokoka, wengi, hapo diyo uwa inaleta shinda. Lakini kwa kuwewe ambao miokoka na huko na roo wa mungu, anaongiresha roo nafsi yako. Na hapo diyo filter nini inafanyiwa. Unajua hiki sifai kukiweka. Hiki akifai ndani ya maisha yangu. Hiki njia astairi kuifuata. Haya siwezi kunena manono kama haya. Kwa sababu mimi miokoka. So your soul becomes the filtering. It will in a filter. Yale mambo ambao inastairi kukaa ndani ya moyo wako. And... It goes to your mind first, then to your heart, and then to your soul. That process, you know, uh, the process, yeah, your information, to the same ya kwamba, you will either retain that information, or you will discard it. You will either retain the information, ama utaitupa. Kama itakuwa ya maana katika maisha yako, hauta iriteni. Kwa sababu hiri information itakuwa na maana kwako. Lakini kiwa, kama umesoma neno la mungu, because you are going to read the word of God. So you are going to use your eyes. You read that word, it gets your mind, then to your heart, and your soul receives it. And then you are able to restore, I mean to store that information. And that's why you can be able to recall 
anything that you have, you have learned from the word of God. Unaweza kumbuka, nilisoma John 3:16. Si hiyo tunajua hata wakati tulikuwa watoto. Si ndio? Na unaweza kumbuka, si ndio? So that's how the information will flow. Now, in the book of Luke, the book of Luke 18. 18:18, there is this ruler who went to Jesus. Na akamuuliza I want you to see how the information can change a person. We are being told of this ruler who went to Jesus. Na akauliza Yesu. Nitafanyaje? This is look now. Earlier before we have read about Matthew. But here we are talking about Luke. Na Luke anasema this ruler went to Jesus. Na akamuuliza, "Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life?" Yesu akamurudishia. Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandment. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. Na yu jamaa alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa religious. Akajibu akamwambia, Fils, niliweza kuifanya kutoka wakati nipo kuwa mtoto. Nilifanya haya mambo yote tangu nilipokuwa mdogo. Alafu Yesu akajibu akamjibu in verse 22. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, "You still lack one thing. Sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me." What happened after this? After this person received that information, Tunambua nini? When he had this, he became very sad. You don't become very sad in your mind. Your heart will be affected. And then it will also affect your, your soul. Because if you received this message, if you could, you could have understood what Jesus meant when he was told, sell everything. I believe Jesus was not just telling him, you are going to live like a papa, like somebody who has nothing, who doesn't even have a home. But what Jesus referred is when you sell everything, it means you give all that you have to Jesus. You commit your life to Christ. You, you forsake everything else. And now that's the only time that you can be able to follow Christ. We have people who have properties, who are wealthy, and they, they, follow, they follow Christ. Do we have people like that? Yes. So we cannot say that Jesus was referring to him, Yakomba Aende, Abiana Kila Kitu, Alafa Murundi. Lakini kwa kwa sababu ya kukosa kuelewa, alipo ambua lile jambo, mwe wake uliusunika. Uliusunika. Nakawa, he was very, Biblia nasema, he was very sad. Ukiona Biblia nasema very, ni kumandisha ilikuwa very. Mwambia mwesako very. Very sad. Amen? Three things. The heart. How does the enemy use the heart? In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Tunambia Bibili na sema hivi. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Mimi suki ma... Kwa kika... I'm not the one who have seen that. It is the Bible. Soma Bibili yako. Imesema hivyo. Imesema hivyo. The heart is deceitful and Desperately wicked. Who can understand it? You are said to the Osikovio. You are said to the Osikovio. And unless something happens to change, to change our heart, we will remain with the heart which are wicked 
and which are desperately what? Wicked. And the only thing that can change us is the word of God. That's the only thing that can change us. Amen? Then in the book of Proverbs, I want to go fast because of time. Proverbs 4.23. Proverbs 4.23 and I say, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Above all. Above everything else. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. How do you guard your heart? When whatever you are going to receive in your mind, the information that you are going to get, you have to know how to come into India, come into India. What do you feed your mind with? Do you feed your mind with Jesus and Ulimwengu? I'm an inero la mungu. Because I'm not going to feed your mind with how your mind will be able to get down your mind. This is what you have to do with your mind. But if you feed your mind with good things, that word is going to be stored in your heart. And out of the abundance of your heart, good things are going to come out. Amen? So, the enemy may use your heart. And are you a kwamba, ati akikisha ya kwamba, ukipata mambo ambao siyo masuri. How do you mambo ambao utakuwa ukiafanya? Ukiongea juu yake? How do you mambo ambao utakuwa ukiafanya? That's the fear that you will be having. Because that's what is within your heart. Then the mind. Now, the mind. Romans 12, verse 2. Romans 12, verse 2. In a summary, do not conform. This is what Pastor was reading for us. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There, you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Is good, pleasing, in perfect will. You see, it's only when you, your mind is transformed. Your mind has to be transformed. And how do you transform the, your mind? When you get that information, you will have to wait. You have to, 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 to know what is important in this information. Let's say, for instance, umesikia musiki, vijana wanapenda musiki sana, tararanta. Wanapenda, wanapenda kucheza, sindio? Na ukipata ule msiki, tabu sijui hiyo msiki ni msiki ina gani. And most of the time, you know, when you get to a matatu, you find a, a, a new music imewekwa, unakutanga tu, unyasa tu kutapu. Hata kama utasema neno, unyasa tu kutapu. Unajipata uko hapa. Unyasa kukumbuka, wei ni miyokoka. <laughs> yeah? So you have to win and you have to filter what kind of information that you are going to store or what you are going to receive. I always tell my son, and forgive me, my son, you are here, I love you so much, but I always tell him the kind of music that you are going to listen to will have an impact in your life. Amen? It will have. Because if you learn to listen to Lege, whatever you see in that Lege, it has its praise. If you love to listen to lock, have you heard Pastor T speaking about the, the music, the lock music? Kuwala ambao waja awai kusikia, enda kwa YouTube and search for Pastor T. Mahali ambapo anongea junior lock music. You will know the impact of it. Na origin ya your music. So, music has a very Ina ina kuanga iko ina iko na 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 ina tushika sana kuna maari ambapo uwe ina tufikisha so the kind of music that you are going to receive or you are going to be listening iko na impact katika maisha yako and I'm calling upon even our young people please just wait what you are listening you may say a lot of things that this is what I enjoy. Uh, you see, it doesn't even have uh, insults. It's good music. It, that's okay. But please, when you listen to the music, 
ina, inaongea juu ya, 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 ya mambo ya kiungu that what is going to be that what is going to transform you that is going to change you you look at your life and you ask yourself why am i not maybe committing in doing abcd because there are things that the enemy will use slowly by slowly he will start snatching Peter, 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 Therefore, your mind as a, uh, with, with my... Set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Christ Jesus, and when Jesus Christ is revealed at, at his coming. The alertness, the soberness of our minds. Your mind should be alert. Your, you should be fully sober so that you may be able to know. Uh, to, uh, you can be able to set, you, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. Amen? So be alert. Be alert. Be sober. Alert, being alert in Kumanisha, you are not just asleep. You are, your mind is alert. You are, you, are, you are sober. You can be able to know this is not the right thing for me to do. This is not good for me to consume. It's not good. Amen? Then the last one, the saw. The last one, the saw. In Asema, in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 17, 22, in Asema, joyful, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. A joyful heart is good, for, is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. When your spirit is broken, that's why you find people getting even uh, to depression. Because when your spirit is broken, you have given up. There is nothing for you. You have given up. And you find people, even wale ambao walikuwa miokoka mtu nakuta, amesha rudi kwa kama alikuwa mlevi, kwanza nakuwa kupindukia. Anaingia, anaingia na migu, na kichwa, na mkila kitu. Amen? When your spirit is broken. Psalms 19. Psalms 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the souls. The sense model of the Lord is true, uh, sure, making wise the simple. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring, restoring, restoring the soul. Amen? It's the word of God. The word of God. That's what is going to restore us. That is what we, when we talk of redigging, we cannot be able to redig by our own strength. We cannot be able to redig using our wisdom. It is the, through the word of God that that the time we can be able to do the redigging. Amen? So, the word of God, of God is reminding us, ina tukumbusha ya kwamba, neno la mungu, ama sheria sa mungu, the law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. Restoring the soul. And when our 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 mind, our 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 heart, our souls are restored, then we can be able to redeem and we can be able to repossess that which we lost. Amen. And then the last verse. Now, the funny thing is that we will be said. Uh, the topic of our reading today is good way. Sindio? The funny thing is that in Atoka, katika the last verse about Nasoma, hapo diyo tunapata. Na inasema hivi, in the book of Jeremiah, the, bu the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 6, verse 16. Inasema hivi, this is what the Lord says, Stand at the crossroad and look. Ask for the ancient path. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. 
and will find rest for your souls. But you said, I will not walk. Now, I want to dispute that. Because we have known what the enemy is using. Right? Si tumejua, ya kwamba shetani atatumia akili setu, atatumia nini? Mioyo yetu, na atatumia nafsi setu zio. Mioyo na the soul, the heart and the soul. That's the, what the enemy will use. Now, here Jeremiah is telling the Israelites, and the Israelites are here. We are the Israelites of today. Amen? Now, anasema ikwamba, do you have the Bible, the Kiswahili Bible? You can lean that verse in your Tuesa Kuyelewa Fisuri Sisote. And media, is it possible for you to find a crossroad? You can display crossroad as uh, our brother rings for us. The media people, crossroad. Amen. Yes. 6.16. Yes. Heaven if you asemavyo buwana, Simama kwenye njia panda utanzame. Ulizia mapito ya nzamani. Ulizia wapi iliponjia nzuri. Wifuate hiyo. Nanyi mtapata raha na psini mwenu. Lakini nini mlisema atutaipita hiyo. Amen. Hapo hapo tu. Are you able to see it? Now. Jeremiah is reminding us of something very very important. Anatuambia, stand at the crossroad. Stand at the crossroad. Actually, ata musita, tusiende bali, tukona cross hapa. Tukona cross msalaba hii. Sasa, tunayasasema hapa, kuna hii barabara, inaenda wapi? Kangundo. Hii inaenda kangundo. Hii inaenda wapi? Town. Hile ingine, inaenda wapi? Uh, Kiserian. Hii inaenda wapi? Mombasa. Sindio? So, crossroad ni wapi? Wapi? Apo katikati. Sasa, Jeremiah nasema, stand at the crossroad. And do what? Ask. Ask. Ambia mansako, ask. Stand at the crossroad and ask of. Na siyo kitu, siyo hitu, awulisa anasema, stand at the crossroad and ask of the ancient. Si tafadhali musome Biblia yenu. Waja kutagemea yangu peke. Na isasema hiyo, hiyo ni mimi niliyandikia. Yako inasema nini? Amen? Okay, waja tusome hitu meweke wapa. Inasema, this is what the Lord says, stand at the crossroad and look. Ask of the ancient path. Ask, anarudia mara ya piri. Ask where the good way is. You know, kwetu kuna wakati nikuwa mdogo niambiwa, nikuwa naambiwa, kuna kitu inaitangu wa biti. Najua na, nani anajua biti? Mbiti ni mnyama mwingine ambaye anakuanga kama aina. Sasa tuliambiwa nilikuwa naambiwa nikiwa kijana nilikuwa tunaambiwa kwamba mbiti alienda akafika pale kwa crossroad. Sasa akashindwa anasikia harufu. Lakini ajue aende north ama aende south. So aliamua nitaenda sote. Sasa akaanza kufanya nini? Kutembelea kwa njia so? Lakini baadaye nini ilifanyika? Iyo staki kusema, wewe ndiyo umese? Tunambea kwamba, stand at the crossroad and ask. Please ask. Nwambi mwisako tena, ask. Na kuna sababu kwa nini Jeremiah merundia marapiri. Anasema, ask for the ancient path. Anasema tena, ask where the good way is. And then, and only then, that you are supposed to walk in it. Amen? When you are going to ask, when you are going to ask, and 
you are going to be told, this is the right way. How did you come to know Christ? How did you come to know Christ? I believe all of us here, we have testimonies. Kuna vile ulijua Christo. Kuna haitha mwoto ambaya likumbiria. Kuna haitha ulipatana na crusade. Hama uliudhiria Bible study mariflani. Hama ulikuwa kwa nyoba tu kukawa kuna ubiriwa kwa radio. Na ukasikia. So, you receive that information and you knew that this is the right way. I'm supposed to do this. I'm Mimi maisha yangu sistahili kuishi hivi. Na sahili kukaa hivi. Na ule pojua ndiposa unambiwa. When you know walk in it. And now when you are walking in it that's the only time that your soul will find rest. Remember how we said the information is how the information is received. Your soul will find rest only when you are walking in the light path. Amen? Only when you walk in the light path. Wakati unapitia kwa jia ambayo inafaa. Hapo ndiyo utapata roho yako itapata kupumziko. Na siku ya leo hili ndiyo kitu ambacho ningetaka tukajiulize. Na naomba wewe mwenyewe ambao uko hapa siku ya leo unajua akili yako unajua moyo wako unajua nafsi yako vile unajielewa Na ujiulize hii swa hawa maneno ambayo tumeambiwa hapa this is now the crossroad Huyo ndio wewe umesimama hapa pale crossroad umesimama hapo unajiuliza unaambiwa stand at the crossroad and ask the ancient path Mahali wakati ulipookoka Mahali wakati ulipokuwa wewe hauwezi kushelewa kukuja ibada asubuhi. Wakati ulikuwa wewe unajihusisha na mambo ya kanisa. Ulikuwa wewe ndio uko msali wa kwanza kufanya kazi ya Bwana. Wewe ndio ulikuwa msali wa kwanza kwenda kufanya injili nje. Siku ya leo nini ilifanyika? What happened? What happened? What happened? Stand at the crossroad and ask of the ancient path. Ask of the good way and when we find it, walk in it. Amen? 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 When we find it, walk in it. As we do the rebuilding and the reprocessing, it's only when we go back to the roots where we started. That's the time when we can be able to do the redigging and reprocessing. Amen? God bless you, Pastor Minimalisa. Let's, let's arise, let's arise if we can, and we are asking, just display that, uh, that crossroads. Display that crossroads, a good illustration. I think you know I like preaching with illustration. No, the crossroads. Okay, this is a cross. We don't put the crossroads. Very good. We see this gentleman. He is right in the middle of the crossroads. Katika maisha yetu, we find ourselves sometimes in, on crossroads. Indivyo? Amen? Umu ni kijana juuliza, natakuta kazi. Itaenda hivi, itaenda hivi. Nisawa? Amen? Unatakuta kazi, itaanza kutakuwa malimu, itakuwa hii, itakuwa hii. Umefika wakati wa kuwa unajuuliza. Okay? Ni meri, Nancy, Nani, Simambo Fika. Okay, that's what the gentleman. Sawa, sawa. Ah, what about the ladies? Ni John, 
ni Joseph, ni Jacob, or ni Peter. Crossroads are we together? Amen. Watoto wetu, you know, wataenda junior secondary ya boarding. Ama ya day. Ile za crossroads are we together? Amen. You know, wakati wa kupanda umefika, itapanda nini? Mahindi, maragwe. Weather inasema mvua itakuwa kidogo itakuwa mingi. Crossroads are in our lives every day. Are we together? These are the days of Google Maps. Sindiwe? Nafika mahali unaweka pin. Now let me tell you, hata hizo pin huwa zina fail, sindiwe? Amen. Amen. We can't ignore kuuliza Bwana njia gani nifuate. Amen. That we, you know, we have to ask the Lord. The see of Google. Our answer is not in Google Maps. Our answer, our help will come from the Lord. Amen. Tumi mikumi yetu kwa kia buwana. Tumulize buwana. Yes, in our lives we find ourselves in crossroads. Mungu wetu, tutaelekea wapi. Tuelekeze, tuongoze katika njia zako e buwana. Lead us in the way we should follow. Tumi mikumi yetu ambia buwana. Yes. In our lives, at times, we find ourselves in crossroads regarding our families, regarding even the businesses we shall do. Shall we open shops? Do we look for jobs? Should we do business? There are times you are in those situations. Father, we are lifting up our hands to you, Lord, and we are asking in the name of Jesus, lead us our God in a way we should follow, dear Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, of God. We lift up our eyes before you, Father, in our careers, Lord, there are times we don't know which way we should follow. Father, I pray that you may help, help each one of us, our God. In the name of Jesus, our lasting Father, Lord, we may they make choices, Lord, that are in accordance with your good, blessing, and perfect will. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are at crossroads in our lives, Father. We are at crossroads, Lord Almighty, regarding Lord, which areas of ministry will go into our Father. Lord, we pray that you may grant us clarity, O oh God. You may grant us clarity and direction, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, our lasting Father. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Turn the bellies up one. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Spaz us out to Yako. Let him be a buana. Two on Gose. Two on Gose. On Gose and go yet to Buana. On Gose and Yetu. On Gose and Buana Machu Yetu. On Gose and go yet to Jews to Eleke Awapi a buana. To Nakulia buana. To Nai the Gina Lako Mundu Yetu. Nababa to Naomba. Uga to on Gose. Uga to on Gose Buana. Yes, this is you on Gose. Usieni kwa njia zetu. Bali buana to Tambue. Gia buana is a toga quako. Our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. May you help us. May you lead us our God. The way we should follow. Mighty God, may you Lord release your voice to us. The voice that says this is the way. Walk in it and the highway will be there. Father, I pray that you will guide us, Lord, to that highway, our oh, Father, to that highway, oh God, where Lord Almighty, your voice will be clear, your direction Lord, will be clear in the mighty name of Jesus. As a minister, Lord, we need your hand, our oh, Father. As families, Lord, we need your hand, oh God. At an even your level, oh, Father, we need your hand, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, we exalt you. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration, our God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, you are reminding us, oh Lord, you are the truth, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Help us, our God. We bless our hands, Lord, in your hands, our God, that you may walk in that way, the way that you are leading us, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we exalt you, our God. We lift up your holy name and adore you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that none of us shall be confused. None of us shall walk in confusion. None of us shall go follow the wrong path, our God. We shall follow the path, our Lord. You are guiding the path that you have ordained in the mighty name of Jesus for every day that is ordained for us, our God. Yes, has been written in your book, Father, I pray. Lead us in that way. Help us, Lord, and lead us in that way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we exalt you. Help 
our past our call. May we not walk alone. May we not walk alone, our Father. Oh Lord, we exalt you. We worship you. We honor you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you, Lord, and adore you. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. We exalt you. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me look at you too. Now, you're going to be a